in manufacturing industrial robotics, as we know, well, it's been a fundamental part of production for decades. But is it the robot that makes your process effective, or is it the end effector? I'm with J.P. Jobin, he's CTO of Robotique. Uh, J.P., it's uh, in robotics, everyone looks at, of course, the robot, and we think about the robot as, as the big investment, but it's at the end of the arm that really matters. So tell me about it. Yeah, we like to say at Robotique that what's important is the application, and what is important there is all the surrounding and we at Robotique do a lot of end effectors, scrippers, four stroke sensor, cameras and when it, it's when everything of that is put together that makes it possible to solve the application. So the all robot arm is important but the surrounding is very important as well. Now I understand of course in things like vacuum grippers, very popular way for palletization applications, pick and place, uh, typically use an external source of power, air or vacuum, but I understand you have a way that does it in a more self-contained way. So we are really proud here to launch two new vacuum grippers. The first one is EPIC, so it's an electric gripper, you can connect it directly to the wrist of the robot, so you don't need compressed air, you don't need to take care of uh, managing the cable alongside or tubing al along uh, the robot arm. And the second product we're launching is AirPick. Uh, still using the air, uh, the power supply air, such as a conventional suction cup, but we have configurator that means for which for the customer it's possible to change the suction cup in place and everything. Now here at Automate 2019 Chicago, you're also showing a quite a unique application that is sanding. Yeah, we're launching sending kit here. So it's the first uh, application for sending that includes hardware and software. What it does is you have a, a sender, of course, but you have also a software that allows you to easily program your application within minutes. And when it's programmed afterwards, the robot would use the internal force torque sensor in order to apply constant force to the part in order to have a perfect uh, finish to the part you're trying to to send. Now that's quite a unique application. Um, uh, you're exhibiting one which is a furniture application. Is that a typical industry? What industries do you think you could use this with? We think we can have that such as wood industry but also the manufacturing for steel, aluminium uh, in order for to polish that kind of stuff and even in glass industry uh, they polish that kind of part as well. So it's a really exciting moment for us. Unique end of arm tooling for unique applications, says JP Jobin of Robotique.